Safety cover industrial enclosures are made of marine grade aluminum that typically outlast the equipment they're covering. They can be used to protect things like backflow preventers, pumps, and meters. Let's see how one comes together. The first step in the construction of an outdoor above ground enclosure is the side panel assembly. Each side panel is fitted with 1.5 inches of polyiso insulation that is cut to the exact dimensions of the panel. This is standard for most safety cover enclosures. This type of insulation is commonly used in roofing, has the highest R value for rigid board insulation, and ensures our enclosures meet ASSE 1060 requirements. The insulation is not glued to the aluminum panel, rather the aluminum is formed around the edges of the insulation, secured and held in place with rivets with a minimum R9 in the walls and R18 in the roof. Each side panel is also fitted with redwood studs for additional structural support. The roof panels are constructed in much the same way. They're insulated, but a larger 2x6 redwood beam may be used for added strength. Safety Cover's modular panel design allows us to ship the panels flat, surrounded by protective foam, and assemble on site. To make assembly a breeze, each panel is marked by descriptive stickers with letters on them. Letter A panels are the sidewalls, letter B panels are the front and back of the enclosure, and C panels are the access panels or doors, and the D panel is the roof. A step-by-step -step instruction guide and diagram will walk you through each step. Plus, all of the installation hardware is included. Inside and outside anchoring brackets, roof clips, anchors and screws, and we also include a masonry bit and magnetic chuck. The only tools you'll need are a hammer, drill, and three-quarter inch wrench. Each sidewall will have a channel at each end where the front and back panels will fit into them. Once they're secure, the door or access panel can now be set in place before installing the roof panel. Each access panel will have a foldable and padlockable handle. Once the walls are up and roof in place, secure the inside and outside anchoring brackets to the concrete slab with hex screws. Then attach the roof cover plates and remove the white protective PVC coating. For more information on safety cover enclosures, visit our website or contact a representative today.